Hey everybody, I'm Michelle Roy of Dragonfly Wellness and this is Wellness Wednesday. Today we are talking about transitions. So um, I've been away for a couple of weeks and I've been cocooning as I begin this period, this big period of transition. I've been talking a lot about transition over the past couple of years. We are in uh, cosmically speaking, we're in a big period of transition collectively. Um, and many of the people I'm speaking with personally, my friends, my clients, my students are also undergoing transition right now. I'm beginning a big transition with my parents. It's a huge transition for them. And it's, a, you know, I'm, I'm having my own role in that. And uh, so there's going to be a part two of this transitions video going on the YouTube channel, but this is part one. Uh, we're starting today, and uh, it's been it's been extraordinary to stand back and witness the unfolding of events uh, over a period of two weeks' time. There was a plan, and you know, suffice it to say that plan went to hell in a handbasket. And uh, so we, you know, made an about face, changed some things. And then what, what resulted from that, and I'll be sharing more of this in the YouTube video, um, has been just nothing short of extraordinary. It's, I think in some ways, we as human beings are a little cursed in being able to anticipate, um, you know, our mortality. This is something that the animal world is, is free of. I mean, animals don't fear death the way people do because they, they, they don't anticipate it the way we do. They, they live their lives doing, doing their thing, whatever nature tells them to do, whatever instinct calls them to do. And one day they meet their end, whether that's an old age or through an accident or predation, whatever it might be. And there is just this, this peace and dignity in living out every day, just fulfilling your purpose, right? We, we spend so much time like, oh my gosh, what even is my purpose? You know, like there's, there's just one thing that we manage to complicate, right? And we're missing out on the sun and the blue sky and the rain and the trees and the animals and whatever else lights you up, the beach, the forest, the mountains. It's so, and that's what this practice, this mindfulness practice is about. It's about being present to all of that, not missing out on all of this because we're so worried about what's coming down the pike. And, and what I have learned over these past two weeks and part of why I allowed myself to cocoon around that because I'm still just beginning to process this, what's, what's about to occur. And what I, what I have been in awe of is how, utterly easy it was everything it everything truly has its season and when it's the right time and when we apply the right energy we're not pushing the river we're not forcing things to happen they unfold in their own time and it's really a thing of beauty and I, I've just been blown away at how over this two-week period what a powerful transition happened uh, how things just moved and fell into place like clockwork. It, it's, it's been extraordinary. And as I said, I'm going to expound on that. I don't need to get into the details of it today. But honoring transition and recognizing it in our lives and accepting it and allowing ourselves to cocoon when we need to and also recognizing when we're pushing the river, when we're resisting, when we're forcing, all of that is counter to moving with the flow of things. We all know what that means to be in the flow, to be you know, in that frequency of allowing and accepting and noticing and witnessing that there's such a power in all of that. So that's your inspiration today, everybody. Notice what is transitioning in your life. Changes upon us all the time. So something is changing, even if it's tiny. And if you're going through a big transition or you're helping someone else through a big transition, sit back and notice where we can, where you can let go, 
you know, where, where might I be forcing this issue or where might I be um, not, I might be resisting the, the reality of what things are, right? Like we, we want things to be a certain way and that creates its own dissonance within us, right? Because we're resisting what is, as Eckhart Tolle would say, right? Just standing back and witnessing this change and allowing it to happen the way it needs to happen. Part of why we force things is because we anticipate and, and then we, we want to control it and manipulate it. And it's just, most things are not within our control. And so what is within our control is this, this beautiful acceptance. So as I said, that's your inspiration, everybody. Find a way to allow yourself to step into the, the divine flow, as it's sometimes called. This is, uh, this is Ishvara Pranidhana in yoga philosophy. It means surrendering to God, surrendering to something bigger, surrendering to the divine flow of the, of the universe, the natural flow of the world. All right, good luck with that. Part two uh, for the YouTube channel will be coming out in the next few days, and uh, there's some other exciting things coming. So stay tuned to the newsletter that will be out later this week. All right, everybody, have a fantastic Wednesday, and I will see you again next week. Namaste.